awesome. Like, like build a roller coaster. I don't really want to do that. Come on, you know, please. Fine, I'll do it. I'm ready to go. Let's get this cracking. No, Pauline, you don't understand. You have to do the math first before you do the construction. Oh, how are we going to do that? Don't worry. I've got a plan. Okay, so at the beginning of our roller coaster, we want to have an exciting drop down through that X intercept. Then we want to come up to this height so that we can have a fun drop down for the exciting finale. The first time, the first X intercept that it crosses, X is negative 4. The next, X is negative 1. The next, Y is 1. And the next, X is 2. These can also be thought of as little equations, where X plus 4 equals 0, x plus 1 equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0. Cool. Now that we have these factors, we can put them into an equation. y equals x plus 4, x plus 1, and x minus 2. Also, since we want the y-intercept to be 1, we put that at the beginning. Then, we want to distribute, distribute the, um, the factors. So, the first two, um, x squared plus 5x plus 4, and we still have the last one, x minus 2. Then we can distribute the x, so we have y equals then x to the third plus 5x squared plus 4x, and then we distribute the negative 2, so we have negative 2x squared and negative 10x and negative 8. Then we can combine like terms and get y equals x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 8. And that Is our answer. Let me graph that on my trusty TI 84 Plus Texas Instruments graphic display calculator. Let's see. Y equals X to the third plus 3X to the second minus 6. X minus 8. Let's see how that looked graphed. I want to see if this looks like Zeno said it would. Does that look the same to you? What went wrong? Let me graph that on my T80. One. Let me graph that on my trusty T84 Plus Graphics Novels Calculator. What, what went, went wrong? wrong? What went wrong?